just hijacked. Oh, we're looking at you, CNN. So Soledad O'Brien was the host of Starting Point since 2011. It's their morning show, and man, was she aggressive with her guests. Exactly the kind of journalism that the most trusted name in news should be doing, holding power accountable. She would challenge Democrats and Republicans alike. Old school journalism, it was refreshing to see. So obviously she's now being moved out. She was on the Wendy Williams show, and they had this uh, interaction. But Soledad, before we get started, if you don't mind, because it's everywhere, are you leaving CNN? You know, we're talking about my role. As you know, it's been reported a lot that the morning show is going a different direction. Right. So I'm going to, you know, we're, we're talking about what ways I can contribute to CNN, doing the stuff that I like to do, which is hard-hitting journalism. You know, I like, doing, I like doing documentaries. I like doing hard-hitting, um, you know, grilling people. Well, she does. Now, if you're a real news organization, you would love that. CNN, not so much. Okay, now it is official, it appears, that uh, she will be continuing in some role at CNN, but more independent. She'll be doing some documentaries that CNN might air. But she will not be staying in the morning show. She will not be moved to prime time. She will not be a host anywhere on CNN. By the way, the person most likely to replace her, basically I've already said it, it's Aaron Burnett. So you take the biggest spokesperson for the rich and powerful and for multinational corporations and you have her replace the one journalist on your network who is actually challenging the government. Now is that a coincidence? I don't know. Now a lot of people will say, so without O'Brien moving on from CNN basically despite the fact that she was doing hard hitting journalism. As Greenwald usually says, it's not despite that, it's because of that. Here is what CNN did not like when Soledad O'Brien broke out with a new style of actually doing her job. You would limit the child credit. You would okay, limit that, more. Uh, well, wait a minute. I got to stop that because that's factually ridiculous. Really? I've never okay. called. Yeah, factually wrong and ridiculous. What part and not of that? Close. Some of those loopholes uh, in credits, though, would be, for example, the the mortgage interest deduction. You you want to get rid of that or, they, or limit that, they, right? Well, and the they child might, credit. They might, they, they might be the child uh, credit and also the mortgage interest deduction and you have said earlier a uh, Medicaid and Medicare right all of those and there are people who look at that which is what you're proposing and say so that's bad for the middle class those are all deductions that middle class people rely on and, and wealthy people okay. don't really rely on well, I'm saying he's so we're saying we're going to blame um, this on Bush too. We're, we're going to blame. Okay, in other words, so in other words, you got to stop putting words in my mouth, sir. Okay. Seriously, hang on. Let me finish. That this was due to uh, this terrible movie about Muhammad. Which, he mentioned, but, but he, he actually didn't say that. Right? The verbatim, the actual verbatim of what he uh, said. He Every time I ask you a question, you like to push back as if somehow the question that's being posed to you is unfair. It's not. I'm a journalist. You said some things. I'm trying to get some accurate responses from you. You are welcome to answer. Go ahead. With the adoption of no-fault divorce, when when the government takes a position, on, a policy position on marriage, uh, it has an effect. But when government took a position, let's say uh, against the uh, ban of racial marriage, it had an effect too. It's One so thing I'm debating with you <laughs> is just specific. So when you quote someone or you paraphrase them, the only thing I ask is that you get that accurate. Well, that's, yeah. that's all I ask. So so we're going to pull those because you're not. You're a little bit off as you describe it. See, the establishment media hates that. They're like, oh, that sounds a little rude. No, but you can't let a politician lie on your air if he's got the quote wrong, he's got the facts wrong, or he's got a different agenda. It is your job to expose that agenda. It's your job to bring the truth to your audience. That's exactly what Soledad was doing. That's why she had to go. It, look, she was trusted. CNN calling themselves the most trusted name in news while basically removing her from the equation is ridiculous. Now look, I, don't get me wrong, the ratings for the show in the morning were not great. So if you say that's a factor, I hear you. And look, we're being honest, we like her a lot, but you got to be honest about that too. But if you said, for example, hey, you know what, the morning shows, if they're a little lighter, they do a little better, and the hard-hitting journalism should be done at prime time, or maybe you put her in the middle of the day, those all would have been reasonable things. But to basically get rid of her, by the way, they, that will maybe will do documentaries down the road. That's what they told Ann Curry when they got rid of her at the Today Show. Have you seen any Ann Curry documentaries? No, if you valued that kind of journalism, you would have kept Soledad O'Brien. Obviously, CNN has no interest in that kind of journalism. The kind of 
reporting their interest in it is the government said this, the Pentagon said that, the Republicans said this, the Democrats said that. Have I pleased everybody yet? Yay, government. That's terrible reporting. The only thing you're missing, Jake, is that cable news network can't rehire people that get bad ratings. CNN never did it. <laughs> MSNBC never did it. Like Tucker Carlson, he never got rehired, come on, come right? On. <laughs> yeah. Tucker Carlson had one chance. He screwed that up. It's over. <laughs> Only got rehired about eight times, right? And, like it would never happen in any of these fields. Like like North Turner, after screwing up eighteen different teams, he wouldn't get rehired, would he? <laughs> okay. No, no, no. There's a reason why Soledad's out, and it's because she was actually doing something right. 